apologize for being so frank, Commander, but your plan feels doomed to failure. We know. We've been there before. But, Madam Counselor, let me... I'm not the only one that feels this way. The Salarian Dalatras is livid. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Perhaps. Still, we can't help but feel that this summit is a waste of your time, and we can't afford to have it waste ours. We must focus our attention on the arrival of the Reapers. So no, the Asari will not be at your summit. Our lines would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. Good luck, Commander. And goodbye. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCon. What do you mean, offline? I don't know. She's not responding, and I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. Commander, comm systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. Problem isn't here. Systems all look green on my board. You sure? Maybe something was miscalibrated. You do know who you're talking to, right? Yeah, yeah. Just had to check. Well, if you see Shepard, tell him to get over to the AI core and figure this out. We'll do. You heard him, Shepard. We're dead in the water. Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire, or something. I'm going in. Edie, talk to me. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. 
Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever test you can. Then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. On that we can agree. Greetings, Commander Shepard. Huh. What are you? I'm Glyph, a VI assistant to Dr. Tassoni. I help her sort and catalog collected data. She's asked me to draw your attention to a terminal connected to her information network. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you've found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Liara? What is all this stuff? After you left for Earth, I had the chance to track down the information trader who'd kidnapped my friend. It wasn't easy, but I found the Shadow Broker and took over his information network. You're running that from the Normandy? What I can. Not all of the old broker's networks remained intact, but I have agents. They helped dig up the information I needed on the Prothean cache on Mars. For now, I'm researching this Prothean device. It's too dangerous to activate until we understand it. We can figure out what it does later. Our priority is getting it built. Just give me some warning before you flip the switch. People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. There's still a lot of people alive down there. I have to remember that. You will. It's the war we warned everyone about for years. And if I know you, Shepard, you'll make them proud. Please, enjoy your day. Seeing the same numbers myself, they don't. Garrus, didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. 
After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots of them. What you saw back on Palavin is proof of that. Still not convinced I should have left it behind. There was a boy back on Earth. Couldn't have been more than six or seven. I watched him die as the Normandy escaped the attack. Somehow I'm still alive. And he's not. Being right about the Reapers has never felt much like a victory, has it? We both knew this fight would be tough. Damned if the Reapers haven't delivered. At least my government listened to me. Or pretended to. They finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. Not like the old days, is it? We're actually respectable now. Yeah. I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even count how many lives are depending on us, Garrus. Well, when things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember. A certain Turian friend of yours isn't sleeping any better, and he'd be more than happy to meet you at the bar and drink you under the table. Something else you want to talk about? You mentioned you still had family on Palavin. My father is there. Sister, too. How long has it been since you heard from them? Long enough to be worried. That's all for now, Garrus. It's damn good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape.
found something. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. Without that beacon's warning, the Citadel species would have been taken by surprise. Right. So any other Prothean artifact on Eden Prime could be just as important. Cerberus can't be allowed to keep whatever they've found. Recovery is our preferred option, but we'll destroy it if we have to. Understood. Do you have any idea what Cerberus found? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Appreciate it. All part of the service, Commander. All right, everyone. Get ready to move. With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. This was a beautiful colony once. The colonists will rebuild once Cerberus has been destroyed. The city on Earth where I grew up was hard and dirty. I can see it as a war zone. Eden Prime doesn't deserve this. Nobody does.
Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? Huh. I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. There's the elevator that leads to the dig site. Good. Now we can find out what they've discovered. Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean? Cerberus has recovered a Prothean corpse? No. Cerberus found a living Prothean. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. The Protheans had powerful stasis technology. That's the only reason any of their artifacts survived intact. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. Whatever he is, he's better with us than with Cerberus. Open the pod. Of course. Ah, <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Let's get moving before more of them come back.
never thought our empire would fall. It won't. We will sleep here until the Reapers return to Dark Space. Then we will rise, a million strong. For the Empire. For the Empire. Get to your stasis pod. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life pods. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. I've got the signal. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean Beacon. You had a vision of the Reapers last time you were here on Eden Prime. It must attune your mind to understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video. And the signal they used. Perfect. Then we just need to figure out how to physically open the pod. They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. This isn't a military stronghold. It's somebody's home. It appears that Cerberus cares little for civilian casualties.
There. That lab found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. Intel to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life pods. Third of our people. Alert! Broadside bulkhead cannot be sealed. Hostiles detected. Then all forces to the north. Understood that one too? Yes. Excellent. Then we have everything we need to open the pod.
They have retracted the bridge. We'll need to locate the controls. No time. Let's find another way across. Transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Cerberus has heavy forces incoming. We'll need to hold this position. Looks like we've got a second to catch our breath. Or set up preparations for the next wave. Has the life pod ended stasis mode? It should not be much longer. We should look for ways to hamper the enemy's approach. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access.
life part now. You've got it. Goddess. It may take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Be careful, he's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been... A few minutes! No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online! Those soldiers are still alive! Their sacrifice will be honored in the Coven Empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now! Understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. I saw what happened to your people. I know you must be grieving. But they died 50,000 years ago. My people are dying right now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. Synthetic. This is not a good beginning. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. <laughs> 